ladies and gentlemen welcome back to my youtube channel my name is harvest and we are back again and today we are going to the track so in the last update there have been two Le Mans cars which have been added to Forza Horizon 5 the GT the Ford GT LM and the Porsche RS RLM so today those cars are going to go on the head to head on the track on the event lab there's a track which i'm gonna use to see which one is faster first up i'm gonna take them bone stock to the track and then after that i'm gonna upgrade them and see which one can win after upgrade so yeah let's go so yeah i'm leaving my hotel right now i'm just joking just the place i found which it looks cool to start a video okay i'm just gonna go to the horizon festival right now i'm thinking of starting with the, G the ford gt lm i'm gonna strip off any any upgrades i have right now on the car here is our ford gt lm so i think i didn't do any upgrades on this car because it has 530 horsepower and 494 foot pound of torque it weighs close to three pounds three thousand pounds oh that's a lot of weight okay let me check it out if it is stock or upgraded okay it is stock as you can see right there now i'm gonna take it to the track to see that the car which has less time maybe close to a minute or something is the winner of course let's see in the first round which one will win oh i think the only thing i did on this car is the livery why did i think this was the original livery this is the livery i find i found on the design oh now i remember the original one of the car blue and red and here we are around the track the light ray race whatever you call it. let's go let's see which car is faster around the track okay that was a cool start oh the sound of the ford our first corner here we go we didn't spin out this is a race car unlike the other cars i bought to this track and again the only car that had a less than a minute in this race track is the amr pro again i don't think this car can beat that one but maybe it can beat the porsche rsr we don't know oh this is a race car it breaks so well and it takes the corners like a champ look at here i didn't even break even around this corner didn't even touch the brake that's what race cars supposed to do and our last corner i think okay no that's not our last corner we we're so close to being under a minute and we got one minute six seconds that's what we got one minute six seconds and if you are wondering which where i'm seeing the best lap time it's up there at the top left corner there just look at that one minute six seconds because some people may be wondering where am i getting this timer it's up there okay so we got one minute six seconds now let's see what the porsche rsr will get if put on the same track without any upgrade time it has to beat one minute so here is the porsche rsr i think it i also did another livery on this car oh no i think this is the original livery because you can see it's number 92 24 hour le mans 92 years so let's go to the festival i want to see if this car is bone stock or not i may have put on some upgrades and forgot about it just like the ford gt i forgot about the livery thing let's check out if it's bone stock and after that we'll take it to the track against the ford so it is stock. look at the pi the performance class win s2 class 910 exact same class as the ford gt but i think they, they have different horsepowers this one is 500 3 horsepower let's check out the 4 gt what how many horsepower how much horsepower does it have because they're on the same class is it because they're both Le Mans car okay this one is 30 more horsepower look at that but look at the pi 910 okay this one has more horsepower and it weighs 2.9 thousand pound 3.6 liter v6 engine 494 foot pound of torque and what does our porsche have porsche has everything okay it weighs 
less than the other car and there's a four liter engine but the lesser of the engine doesn't help us with anything right now only the torque would have helped us but it's less and even the horsepower is less but the weight is on the Porsche side because it weighs 2,866 pounds so let's go to the track right now maybe we might win because we are we're a little 100 pound ish less weight than the 4GT and here we go with the Porsche on the starting line let's go which team are you on team Porsche or team Ford I think I'm on team Porsche and our first corner that was worse than the Ford in a little bit of slide right there okay now Porsche is disappointing okay let's go I thought I missed the checkpoint right there no I did a lot of mistakes with this car why am I doing mistakes right now break break okay almost missed the checkpoint that was a bad move okay all I have to do right here is not break yeah, this is a proper race car also look at that no break even though the braking line says it was red but we didn't have to break and the last corner there we go did we beat the point did we beat oh no look at that one minute seven seconds okay let me restart because i did a lot of mistakes with this car now i must fix my mistakes and see if it was a fair race with the ford gt i didn't do a lot of mistakes let's try that again and see if we can shut off that one millisecond second we messed up right there because the 4 gt got one minute six seconds and this car got exactly seven seven seconds that was so close like really really close i think this time maybe we can shut off that time and be at the same level as the 4 gt maybe i don't know maybe we can shut off that time by being faster around the corners even on this corner without breaking uh, Jeez. After this corner, we're gonna turn for the last corner. Okay, we slide a little bit right there on that corner. Are we under a minute? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. And that was a one minute six seconds. <laughs> you see, that's what I meant. I made a lot of mistakes. Look at the top left corner right there. One minute six seconds. I should have taken time of the milliseconds so I can see see which one won exactly okay i'll see it when i'm editing i'll see which one won right there so now it's time to upgrade the cars and see which one is boss the upgrade okay right now we start with the last car which is the porsche i'm gonna upgrade it so i'm gonna skip over upgrades i'm just gonna give them the same upgrade and we're gonna head over to the track i'll see you on the track so here we are we are in the performance class was to s2 to x class so now the weight has gone down a little bit and we got 1.3 horsepower and our downforce is still the same so i just gave it everything that gave me a green light so you know when you upgrade your car and it gives you a red light when you want to upgrade to something i just took the one which gave me the green light because i wanted to be a race car still i wanted to handle it well so yeah and i gave it the 918 spider engine 4 liter v8 hybrid yeah that's what i gave it on engine swap that's the one with the highest horsepower it gave it around 880 80 something horsepower so i'm gonna do the same with the ford gt i'm gonna give it the okay if there's an engine swap which has more horsepower i'm gonna give it that engine now let's see if this car can beat the time it got last time i think we're gonna definitely beat it one minute six seconds that's the time we must beat and be able to win against the ford gt let's start the second round of the le mans battle here we go okay i okay look at that what happened right there you see the horsepower thing the horsepower thing okay now i'm making mistake you see that's what i i didn't want to happen the handling of the car not to be screwed with like i thought i've done it so well but okay maybe it's because i ha i have 1.3 horsepower on a rear wheel drive car maybe that's the problem look at that that was fast i didn't tune my gears because it's I, it's hard for me to tune gears on this game okay we have to break right there normally we, we don't break around that corner okay break 
Big break going. Okay, this is fast. It is fast, but doesn't handle as well as before. Look at that. One minute, one second. Almost two seconds. Nah, that was faster than before. Okay, maybe, but I made a lot of mistakes because, okay, I messed up with the handling of the car. That was my fault. Now let's ruin the Ford GT. No, I'm joking. I'm not gonna ruin it, but I'm gonna try to make it handle well. Oh, I'm gonna try to uh, handle it well around the track i'm gonna do the same upgrades i did to today for to the porsche on the ford gt that's what i'm gonna do right now so I'm see you after the upgrades again okay here we go after upgrades so the weight went up and the horsepower went from one from 500 to 1.45 60 horsepower and we are x class shit i think this guy is gonna win i don't want it to win i want the porsche to win okay all you have to beat right now is one minute one second i'm wondering if how would it be like if there was a real life festival like like this horizon festival i will definitely attend one of these this could be a cool idea to do in real life anyways let's start here round two of the battle of ford versus porsche uh the ford is definitely gonna win have you seen the horsepower of this thing okay Okay, even the sound okay same mistake as the Porsche you have to break early in this first corner okay a thousand horsepower and we are spinning out that's the work of thousand horsepower right there and around this corner I'm not doing this on purpose because I want the Porsche to win that's what the car is doing like look at that that's what it's doing even the gears I think that I messed up oh, okay 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 that worked okay so the 4 GT you can brake late there was no upgrade to upgrade the brake on this car so i had to use the stock brake the porsche had an option to upgrade okay had an option to upgrade the brake this one they didn't have maybe that's why it's sliding but i think it's gonna win okay it's lost look at that one minute two seconds yes that's what i wanted i wanted the Porsche to win and that's what we got i didn't sabotage the ford that's what it did 